What's happening? It's your girl, Estelle, and you are watching Food for Thought on The Root TV. Grammy Award-winning singer-songwriter Estelle is a truth-speaking force. She first came to the industry in the 2000s, and she won our hearts over by singing her truth and relating to her audience. Today, we caught up with Estelle to discuss fearlessness, vulnerability, and how she makes her mark on the world. Thank you so much for joining us today. So how do you essentially try to live your truth? For me, it's more just about putting your life or not being scared to say the things that are supposed to be hidden as an artist. I don't really have the luxury of just singing songs just to sing them. I've tried it doesn't work for me, so I just don't push what doesn't work. And so you're talking about, you know, putting yourself on front street and vulnerability. People relate to it in, in a real specific way. Like, all right, I'm not the only person. Yeah. You know, it's, it's not just me. There was that person and there was that person. There was that person that's just like, man, I never want to go through that. And I'm like, you right, you don't. It was horrible, <laughs> you know. You've been in the industry uh, for some time. How important would you say it is for women to be fearless? Every single day, every single step, you're going to be tested and tried and slightly disrespected because of the way that women are perceived in the music industry. And it is what it is. I don't even take it personally anymore, more than less. I almost expect them to do it. Not call them to do it, but you just, you, you have that 10% of you where you're like, you're gonna come out your face with something stupid in five, four, I can see where this is going. Three, two, all right, so look, listen, <laughs> you know, um, the one thing I always say is you can't be scared. You can't be, you can't back down in those situations and I never do. And so how did you get this strong sense of self? Is this like from your mama? Did you have from, like musical yeah. influences? Or? Pretty much every woman in my family is real tough. <laughs> like, um, no, they, and they show their strengths in different ways. They really are. My grandma, being a young woman coming over from um, Africa, you know, in her 30s and start a whole new life in racist ass London in the UK in the 60s. It's like, it, that's just, that takes a hell of a woman, you know? So, and it wasn't just about her being a Busting, tough lady. It was more like she showed her strength in different ways. So I don't need to jump off a bridge. I don't need to shout about it. I'm very quiet and cool in my strength, you know, but I'm, at the same time, I'm very clear about who I am. But I hate when the recurring rhetoric about women and fearlessness is, she gotta be tough, or she gotta look a certain way, or she gotta da 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 da. And it's just like, you know, your power comes from inside you. It doesn't have to always be blaring and, and, and in the streets with a sign. It can also be calm and real clear about who you are and say that. I have a quote here that I want to read from you. So in the interview with The Guardian, you said, let the artists be who the hell they are. It's important to me to continue just being, to be who I am because I, I just don't feel comfortable wearing anyone else's shoes. Authenticity cannot be trained, cannot be made per se you know if you are fearless it's just gonna shine through but it, it has to be in you it has to be here it, it you can't be taught that this black music month mcdonald's celebrates the joy of choosing what you love hurry in right now because our classic hits are just two for five dollars mick pick two for five dollars enjoy the choice